Hello, Spade Ventures. Hey, 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 you're, you're looking pretty, pretty good, all of you today. Like, oh my gosh, with your amazing personalities, you guys look fantastic. And I, I mean, I don't even need to see you guys to know that you guys just, just look amazing. I hope that's not awkward, but <laughs> whatever. Welcome back to some more Tanuki Terror Review with me, Master Spins from Spade Gals Productions and owner of Spade Gals Original. Now let me talk about that because it saves some time on the intro. So first of all, I'm going to show you a character shirt that I created a little back ago. I've been showing them in this video for a bit of promotion. This is Girl of Cyclones character, Carvitz Kokumi. Yes. I really love to wear this shirt. I'm so, like, I know it sounds ridiculous and just, like, I'm tooting my own horn, but I love this shirt. Like, I, I made it. It took about three hours, but I love the series Girl of Cyclones, and I'm so glad I made this, and really, I'm hoping that I do have time to make more character shirts at some point because I just love it, and there's, on the back, Spade Gals Original. So... <laughs> You know what it is if you see me sporting that shirt. I'm just going to do a little bit of folding. Clothes folding. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, though, I got some new new glasses, which just always point that out. Because, you know, my glasses are such a big thing for my channel. Big, big, big now. Big, big glasses. <laughs> okay. And I've got I've got my hat, which I keep showing you guys because... You know, it's just it's just nice to so that you guys can see it. So we have Carvitz right there, and we have Maitreya. I pointed this out so many times that I don't even know how I don't know who is where and what what items are on the hat. But whatever. Let's get into the thing that is this video. Now the last two Tanuki Tale reviews, which were amiibo. This is not an amiibo. I might have a third one, but I don't know if I'm going to box that yet or if I'm going to save that one for later. We've done two videos. We've done two videos on this character. Now, of course, if you've seen the title, you know who this is, but I might as well do it again just because it's kind of fun and there's no point. But hey, why not drag out the video more? Because <laughs> I don't even know. But we have done two Tanuki Tail reviews on that on this character, eh, eh, okay, it is an anime figure, and if you want to see this character for, like, more description, and what those figures were, unboxing, showcase, my opinion on it, go in the top right corner, hit that eye, you will see the Tanuki Tail review playlist, where you can go to every Tanuki Tail review, I'm gonna check to make sure it's every Tanuki Tail review, but you can go and you can click on whichever one you want and you yourself, you amazing people, you can go and check that out. And of course there's Spade Gals original stuff there too. I've kind of been like doing outro stuff in the, like just randomly in the middle. So I don't, I don't know why not. But anyway, I tried looking up research for this character. I could not find anything of where this outfit comes from or any details about this. I, I don't know anything about this figure and it's a shame because it is such a really cool idea for one. And you guys know my, my freaking anime waifu, which I never in a million years thought I would ever say that, but my anime waifu... Mio Akiyama from K-On. Yo, I, d I don't know what it is about K-On, but I love it so much. And the, the characters, it's great. And I have another character coming. I have another character coming. I do have a Mugi statue. However, it didn't come new. It actually came used and it was kind of bruised up a little bit. So let's look at the box a little bit. I paid $40 for this, by the way. Um, It looks a bit worn. But that's fine. Like, the box itself, there's, um, there's a bit of damage on, like, the lid and stuff. But it doesn't look, like, too bad. Like, the box looks fairly, fairly new. I don't know if it's been opened. I, 
would assume not. It doesn't look like it has been. I'm hoping it hasn't, but... Alright. Maybe tried to open, but it doesn't really look like it's been used. Oh, wow, that tape was really easy to just cut off. And there's tape on the sides, which I almost forgot about. Yeah, I like to keep these boxes just because, you know, collector, collector thing. And why do I never bring scissors with me? Why? I have a penny. Is a penny going to work? I'm going to cut some tape with the penny. Currency is great. Yeah, you people wanted to band the freaking penny. Well, not you people. You guys are awesome. But other people wanted to ban the penny. And if I did not have this penny right now, if you guys, if, okay, if America banned the penny, I could not open this. Penny is worth more than you think. I was about to throw it, but it is worth more than that. It's, yep, Abe, Abe Lincoln deserves more. <laughs> anyway, though, let us get freaking started. So there's like a little mini code on the, on the top. I'm assuming it's like a figure code or something. And there's, there's like a little bit of, uh, box, box checkers. Like, that's cool. If, dude, if that was white, it would match my shoes, actually. Like, that's actually a really cool... Nice looking pattern. So I really like the box. So before we get to the figure, let's look at the box. And I already see we are going to have to position the guitar. But the figure looks like it's on the stand. So I'll give it to, I'll give that to them. Okay, so the box looks pretty cool. It looks like it pretty much just kind of describes like how the figure is from like front, back, you know, in a regular view. I like how that's kind of like hay on a TV, like an older TV. This was made by a Movic. So this is the original costume version. That's literally what the figure says. I don't know if this is the original costume. So if you guys, if you guys know, please let me know because I am so curious about this figure. And I wish I could find any information about this figure. It's probably easier than I think. But I did look it up and I, I didn't find it and... I got sucked into you watching Tyler's, not Tyler Cedarwall. I did watch him for a little bit, but I was watching Tyler Oakley and I was watching Joe Sugg, which I forgot what his full channel name actually is. But this looks like it's, uh, was this put together before? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's look at the box. There's like no, no kind of easy way to see how this is actually strapped on except by the box and oh my gosh guys the strings on the guitar are actually hang on let me put let me put this girl down for a second but like they actually have strings on the guitar that is so awesome do they actually strum they actually strum <laughs> guys these are actually these are actual like legitimate guitar strings that's so cool. I think they are. They look like it. It actually adds like a really nice detail. And thankfully nobody is sleeping. So if anybody's just like, shh, you'll wake up your neighbors or your family or some somebody, you'll wake somebody up. It's okay, guys. It's okay. People, people aren't sleeping just yet. My mom will probably go to bed in a few minutes. I hope she didn't go to bed already because that would, that would suck. So I'm just trying to get this on this was like the worst to try to do on the one figure and the other figure that I'm gonna get which is another pretty awesome character she has a um she has a bass I think a bass or guitar I can't remember which can you can you like okay this strap does not want to go on the the freaking guitar that's the one annoying thing about these figures is that it's so frustrating to try to get certain things on a string. The string, man. Like, it's literally just enough to annoy you. Like, there's there's no... Come on. Come on. I don't edit these videos, so this is going to be super annoying for... Oh, I got it. I think I got it. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, I got on... Mio's uh, guitar. So yeah, this is okay. Let's get into the figure. 
So I really love the fact that, like, I don't know why, but I always like the, uh, like, the stockings. I don't, I don't know why. I always find that, like, a really cool thing. And seeing that it's, it's literally, like, where it looks like it's see-through. Like, thick, but see-through. And you can tell it's different to the boot, which is awesome. You can see, like, a little skin tone. And another really cool detail is the skirt has, like, that same effect on the bottom layer, whereas the top are, like, solid. So that's a really cool detail. Now, if I look at the boots, we have two buckles here. Now, I've never actually seen this design, so this is actually really cool to see in person. So we have a buckle there, and we have a buckle there, and it looks like there's a line where the heel is, like a grayish kind of line. And, you know, she has she has that kind of form that she has in all of the others where, like, one knee is bent or, you know, they're slanted a bit. It's kind of a cool look because it's it's got a nice blue stand and it's got... Oh, it's dusty. Why is the stand dusty? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know why the stand would be dusty. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to dust this figure then. But, um, that's that's fine. That's fine. I like I like the figure nonetheless, but it's kind of annoying that I'm going to have to uh, dust it out, right out of box. Um, but anyway, the guitar, we've already gone over. It has the strums, which is so cool. And it's got, like, all the notches. I don't know. If you guys know, like, what the notches, what each notch does, let me know. I don't know that much about instruments, but even, like, even the tuning is set a specific way. I don't know if it's set that same way in the anime or not, or, like, the books or something, but that's actually really cool. Are there books for Kan? I'd assume there are. There's always manga for anime. Usually, the anime comes from manga, so I, I don't know. But her, okay, let's go into the shirt now. So... I can't tell. It's kind of like a dress, though. It's more of like a dress than a shirt. So we have these kind of like really baggy, fluffy uh, sleeves. How do I forget the word sleeves? Come on, self. But we've got these sleeves here, which are pretty cool. You know, they kind of they kind of like go off of the off off of the arm a bit. Uh, I almost like barked a bit. <laughs> but you know her. Her fingers are attuned to the guitar where, uh, where, you know, she'd be putting her fingers. She has that same design that's on the box on her tie, which is up a little bit, which is really cool. Just gonna, just gonna move it a little bit so that you guys can, can see right there that the tie is really cool. It's also really cool to see a, uh, a figure with a tie, like a female with a tie because Generally, a lot of people are like, oh, females shouldn't have ties, whatever. You know, I I don't really care. Like, if, if a girl wants to have a tie, go ahead. Go right ahead. Put on the tie. Go out. Be proud of that tie. Be, be proud of that tie. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. This, is, this seems like more of a motivational um, video to, to women wearing ties and pennies. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> anyway, though, she has a red belt, even though you can't really see it because of the guitar. And, ooh, that's a nice detail. It has these little, like, rhinestones on there. And I want to be careful because she seems like she's not very stable on the thing. Because I keep, I keep accidentally, like, bumping the figure. And, like, the figure kind of, like, slightly jolts up. Like, it's in certain parts. But it looks, it looks solid. It looks like it's supposed to be one, just one specific piece. So I don't know why specifically that it would feel like that. So it goes to like the very back, you know, goes until where the strap hits. Yeah, where the strap hits is where the rhinestones stop. And the wrinkles on the back of the dress that's a really cool detail. I love the details that they make, even if you can barely see them. Because that says that they really, really put a lot of detail and thought into the figure. You've got, you've got the hair, which I love that these, these parts of the hair 
are just flung up like the tie. It's almost like she's like mid-concert, just jumping around so happy. And I'm wondering, is this is this what she wore in the in the festival? I don't think so. I think she wore something different in the festival. Let me let me know if you if you know if this was from an episode, let me know because that's really bothering me. One thing that I've never mentioned is the eyes. The figure's eyes for all anime figures are really cool. They're painted on, but they look like they're their own object. They look like, you know, they're inside of the head instead of painted on, if that makes sense. So, you know, she's got she's got the eyebrows and the little little tiny anime nose that's that's so adorable. It's so adorable. And she's got she's got a tiny smiling mouth. Yep, she's she's so super happy. And you know, she wouldn't be too happy if you know, this was the first episode, so you know. But she wouldn't be so happy if Ritsu didn't just like force her to be in uh HTT, which is um after school tea time, but that's the abbreviation for that in the in the anime which i'm assuming that's what that's like it translates to htt something something with those abbreviations in in japanese so but i i don't know also it looks like there was supposed to be like another thing with it cuz there's something was there was there yeah it looks like there was supposed to be Something else in there. Huh. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to be kind of sad if it's not, if it's actually missing a piece. But, I mean, I've, I've got it now. And it's, it's whatever. Because I got the anime figure. It's really cool. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And it's time for me to rate this figure. Now, I really like the design. I'm going to ignore the fact that it looks slightly worn out a little bit. Like, it's it's used instead of new. Which I thought it was new. But I'm going to overlook that fact specifically. Also, she has, like, blush under her eyes. Which I don't think you can see from there. But this figure... Oh, uh, excuse me. I, like, ate just before recording this, so I, I apologize. But this figure, looking at the other figures, honestly, I think that this is one of the really, really good figures. I like that I don't have to assemble anything, and I don't think it's the same size as the others. I think it's in between that and the Asuna Melon Bread figure. Which I, I called it like something like bread figure or something like that. But it's called, it's actually melon bread that she's eating. So, you know, correction to that. But I'd, I don't know. I'm gonna, I want, I want to say like a seven. But I feel like it deserves a little bit more. I, get, I guess like an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I really like the figure. I love how the boots are shiny. I, j I love, I love the details because I've not seen, this is the first time I've seen like the see-through like kind of thing, like with the stockings, with the bottom of the skirt. I think that's really awesome. It looks really cool. And let me know in the comment section what all of you think of this figure. Let me know the rating. And if you want to see more k unboxings, more Mio merchandise, more amiibo unboxings more plush reviews just a whole bunch of that let me know in the comments section below because you telling me really lets me know what content you guys want to see what non-gaming content you want to see you know whatever whatever just let me know in the comment section below because that would help me out tremendously what would also help me out tremendously is if you liked this video Leave that like button, well, not leave that like like button, but hit that like button because that would be fantastic. Share the video if you loved it, you know, give give that like heart on all the social medias. And uh, if you if you liked 
you know, this video with my channel and you like my channel, then maybe you'll hit that subscribe button. Hey, hey, you don't have to, of course, but if you do want to, then please, for, for all means, hit that, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see my social medias like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or my secondary channel, you guys can go to the channel art, which is the, that's like the third time I've misspoke. I don't know what is happening. I don't know what is happening like up here. I, I don't know, but you guys can go to the channel art at the homepage. You can click all of those social medias and you guys can also check out the awesome channel section for my friends and my, yeah, sorry about that. Something caught in my throat, but you guys can also check out SGO and again, check out the eye in the top right corner. You guys can also check the end screen at the end of the video, which that will have a subscribe Spade Gauss original link uh, again. You guys get so much access to Spade Gauss original because I, I just love doing content there too. But you guys can also see most recent uploaded video on this channel, no matter what it is, gaming, Tanuki Tail Review, doesn't matter. It will be the most recent upload on this channel and either an SGP recent, you know, relatively new, like it's kind of in the middle, or old video of Spade Gals Productions. But not just that, but you guessed it, a Spade Gals original <laughs> video and yes i am really pushing for for spade gals original because we we have three subscribers guys and one of those is is my main channel just so that i can make sure that it has uploaded and so that i can easily access to share it you know but if you guys really do want to support both channels then by all means please do please share the video if you really did enjoy it and i hope that this video might make you guys want to see more content by me, or maybe it made your day. I mean, if it made your day, my goal is is complete. I'm doing what I am set out to do, because if you guys are not enjoying your day from this video, if you guys are not smiling from all of my crazy antics or whatever, then I am not doing what I need to be doing. And, you know... So I just hope that this video helped somebody out there, just made somebody smile, and maybe maybe it'll make other people smile. So I'm hoping that's what this does, and with that hope, I'm ending the video, and me and my, my waifu Mio will see you guys in, well, I will see you in the next video. Mio will pro Mio will probably see you in a in a future video. Let's be honest here, <laughs> but I'll see you later. Bye.